Hi everyone, Donut here. I know that I haven't made much police content lately and I'm a happier person because of it. But guess what we're gonna do today? Some police content. A shooting actually. I was browsing the old protect and serve subreddit the other day when I came across a pretty nutty video out of Bellingham, Washington. There's a place called Arroyo Park and it's super pretty, but unfortunately P. Dookie Salmon set up a campsite there and was chasing around people with a machete. Usually when homeless people chase other people around with a machete, the police are called. So the Whatcom County the Sheriff's Department shows up with a bork and the Bellingham police trailing behind to find the homeless guy chasing people with a machete. To minimize shooty shoots, one of the Bellingham cops has a meanie greenie shoddy, or in this case, an orange meanie that shoots algae rounds. They're walking through the woods for over 30 minutes when they hear a thunk sound nearby. P. Dookie is shooting arrows at them. It's, a, oh, it's across, they're she, he's shooting arrows at them. So they take cover behind some trees and they start giving some commands. <laughs> P. Dookie, of course, doesn't want to listen, so he starts reloading his crossbow. The two front officers on scene fire two shots apiece, striking P. Dookie once in his hip. Max, quiet. I got Show him. me your hands! I think I can see him. Bang. Bang. Shots fired. Butts. Bang. After being struck in the head, P. Dookie, of course, gives up. Do you get anywhere else besides the hand? Yeah, I don't know. What's that? In my chest. Your chest? Then, after P. Dookie is already in handcuffs and strapped down on a stretcher, he starts talking smack. Let me tell you guys a little secret though. This story right here hits kind of close to home because I got shot in the face with an arrow. I tell the story on stream sometimes, but I don't think I've ever told it on here. This was in Alabama in 2000, maybe 2003-ish, I don't know, around there. A friend and I were playing with a compound bow. <laughs> I know, extremely, extremely smart thing to do. And he said, hey, Cody, catch this. And about the time I turned and looked, he shot me right in the temple with a with an arrow. It didn't have a tip on it, but it went in like an inch. I had to get all these stitches on like the inside and the outside. Now I have a hole in my head right there. Anyways, that got me thinking, how many bow and arrow crimes are there in the United States? Then I remembered a friend of mine smoked a dude who pointed a crossbow at him last year. A guy tried to get forcefully frisky with his estranged wife. Spartanburg County deputies show up and the guy runs into the woods with a crossbow. He then pointed the crossbow at deputies and didn't last very long after that. But guess what? There is more bow crime outside of Alabama, Washington and Spartanburg County, South Carolina. And not that my friend shooting me was a crime. Blake. Last year in Minnesota, this guy stole a pickup truck, drove through a bunch of people's backyards, and drove into someone's garage that already had their car in it. The suspect hops out of the truck, runs into a house that isn't his that he just drove into, finds a crossbow somewhere, and shoots a deputy in the hand. As a matter of fact, he shot this deputy, who saved a kitten. Deputies respond by returning fire, shooting the suspect in the buttocks and the shoulder. Oh, look, that's horrifying. A guy posing as a delivery man knocked on the door of a 44-year-old woman and shot her in the chest with a crossbow. He was concealing it in a box that he appeared to be delivering. She somehow lived and I can't find anything saying that they ever caught the guy. The Toronto police believed that he was a hitman and that was a hit on the woman because she didn't actually know who he was and you know just the nature of how he set that whole thing up with a disguise and a crossbow in a box. Don't answer your door for people at night, people. No one. Don't don't do it. In New York last year, this guy got road rage and shot at a guy with a crossbow, then with a gun. No one was hurt. In Pulaski, wherever that is, last year, this guy got into a road rage, chased another car down, and shot through their back windshield with a crossbow. Fortunately, no one was injured in that one. There seems to be some connection between trashy white dudes and shooting crossbows at people. Like two weeks ago, this guy shot some dude in the arm for no reason. This cat got shot with a crossbow and is expected to make a full recovery. York County, South Carolina, 2016. A woman shot her husband in the back of the head with a crossbow. He wakes up screaming because there's an arrow in his head. Police are called. She says it was an accident. He says it was an accident. The police say, well, we don't really have any evidence that this was malicious in nature, really. Then two years later, she poisoned him to death, so they opened the case back up with, you know, the arrow in the back of the head. Former top 10 most wanted criminal arrested after shot with crossbow. Man, police in Salem are crazy as hell hunting the top 10 criminals with crossbows. They must utilize the John Carpenter's vampire method of dealing with crack houses. Pop them with the arrow attached to a truck winch and drag 
drag him out into the light. Oh, wait, this was an altercation between two trashy white guys, of course. Dakota Domes, wow. Got into an argument with Tristan Brannon. Tristan's the wanted guy, so they got into an argument over some stolen property. Dakota shot Tristan in the leg with a crossbow, later stating that he just wanted to scare him. To add insult to injury, Dakota then grabbed a bat and broke out all of Tristan's windows in, in his car while Tristan limped away to find somebody with a phone to call for help. Needless to say, they were both arrested. One, one for being wanted and then the other for shooting the wanted guy in the leg with a crossbow. Honestly, with that title for a minute, I, I just thought Salem Police go hard. Boise, Idaho, Jamie Char Charizard. He spent 30 years in prison for killing his ex-wife and then for some reason, despite being given life in prison, he was let out because there was going to be a retrial in his case of killing his wife. He was out for about nine months, and during that nine months, he started dating a chick who broke up with him and then got a restraining order against him. Could have been because she found out he killed his ex-wife and he's for some reason out of jail, I don't know. So he drives to her house, breaks into her house, takes all of her guns, hides them where she can't find them, then arms himself with a crossbow. That is correct, he hides all the guns and arms himself with a crossbow. She arrives home, he points the crossbow at her and confronts her about the breakup. So she comes up with the idea to tell him she's gotta go feed her cats in the laundry room. So he's like, okay, yeah, go, go do that. And of course she escapes. After realizing she has escaped, he goes to a nearby field, throws the crossbow in the field, goes back to the house, calls police and tells police that she had kidnapped him. Police say, well, where's your location? He tells them and they come arrest him. That just, it's, how is that not out of Florida? What is a crossbow crime video without a couple of Florida men though? Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Department received a call from a man who said his son was intoxicated and threatening to shoot him. Deputies arrive on scene and negotiate with Florida man for several hours. He won't come out of the house, so they decide to go in the house. When they go in the house, Florida man announces that he is armed and dangerous. What they found was a naked Florida man wielding a crossbow. He pointed the crossbow at deputies and one of the deputies shot him in the armpit. The next day he told investigators that when they entered his home he was naked on the floor, praying to earth and native God and that people or aliens may be coming to take a meteorite he had previously found. 18 year old Nicholas Alexander was sitting at a bus stop in Florida, of course, when suddenly he felt a pain in his pinky finger. Was it a cramp? Perhaps a bumblebee? No, it was a crossbow bolt. The psychopath from No Country for Old Men had been driving around shooting at random people with a crossbow from his grandmother's SUV. Using the DNA from the arrow that was embedded in this poor dude who was just sitting at a bus stop, police were able to link the guy to four or more of these incidents. Enough with the crossbows, I say, but what about actual bow and arrow crime? Well, I can't find any in the US. The only one that I can find occurred in Australia. A guy pulled into his driveway and saw a random dude with a bow and arrow on his property. I'm guessing he's says something to the effects of what are you gonna do shoot me with that bow and arrow so he held up his phone to take a picture of the trespasser and that's when the guy shot him with the bow and arrow and then his phone saved his life that is all I have for you fine people today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm guessing from what happened at the first of this video it's going to be demonetized so if you want to help support the channel you know where you can go. Do I have to tell you again? God I love you Patreon merch, hit that member button below. Go to twitch.tv slash donut operator to hang out. That's where I'll be as soon as this video is released. Until next time, probably tomorrow. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Come here, dude. <laughs> oh. yeah. Shrimp stuffed with jalapeno is, is my jam.